Namaste, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, Esteemed Experts from G20 Members, Guest Nations and International Organizations. As we come to the end of the second global thematic webinar on Harnessing Living Heritage for a Sustainable Future, organized by the Culture Working Group under India's G20 Presidency in partnership with UNESCO, our knowledge partner, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to all the participants for their valuable contributions. We've had an enriching and a truly enlightening day of discussions on this very important topic. The conversations today delved into good practices, identified gaps and challenges, and proposed actions that will inform and guide the Culture Working Group in shaping action-oriented outcomes on the second priority area. The interventions at this inclusive dialogue touched upon ways in which the international community can preserve its cultural heritage while also ensuring its sustainability and relevance in the modern world. I would particularly like to thank our moderators from Food and Agricultural Agriculture Organization, FAO, World Health Organization, WHO, and Secretariat of the UNESCO 2003 Convention for the Safeguarding of the Intangible Cultural Heritage for their committed leadership and unwavering support throughout this global thematic webinar. Furthermore, I am very grateful for UNESCO's ongoing collaboration with the Culture Working Group under India's G20 Presidency as a knowledge partner, notably for their excellent support in organizing the thematic webinars, which will undoubtedly strengthen our knowledge, joint outcomes, and contribute to the global conversation on culture and sustainable development. Building on the background document that was prepared by the Indian Presidency of the G20 to set the ground for our discussion, further complemented by your contributions and insights, let me reiterate India's ambition to kickstart a substantive roadmap map on the subject that will further uh, enrich um, and be enriched in the near future by upcoming presidencies. Our living heritage is a vital part of our identity and a source of social cohesion. Its core principle is also central to the definition of sustainable development, which is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Community knowledge, holistic living, and environmental management practices provide valuable insights and tools for tackling ecological challenges, including climate crisis and loss of biodiversity. While traditional knowledge of agriculture, medicine, and natural resource management can help us adapt to changing environmental conditions, traditional arts, crafts, and cuisine, on the other hand, can provide us with sustainable economic opportunities. These practices foster a sense of pride, belonging, and respect for diversity among people. It can promote intergenerational dialogue and strengthen our community's social fabric, bringing together diverse cultural and ethnic groups, young and old, urban and rural. However, as we discussed today, the safeguarding of intangible heritage faces a number of challenges which require a renewed policy attention. The impact of global issues such as climate change and accelerated urbanization directly impact the viability of living heritage. The contribution of intangible heritage to sustainable development has also been consistently outweighed by competing economic development priorities, leading to a certain marginalization of living heritage, as well as insufficient participation of communities in decision-making processes. Furthermore, these traditional practices face the threat of misuse and of cultural appropriation of elements, design, or knowledge of indigenous communities by transnational companies. In the absence of dedicated policy frameworks, 
these practices are often vulnerable to economic and cultural exploitation by external actors who seek to profit from them without accrediting to the communities that created them. It can also lead to the distortion of traditional knowledge systems, resulting in misrepresentations and inaccurate interpretations of these practices. As we work towards harnessing living heritage for a sustainable future, we must work together to promote and preserve traditional cultural practices and knowledge systems. We must ensure that traditional knowledge systems are used ethically and responsibly with the full participation and consent of the communities that created them. There is a need to shape global reflection, building on ethical principles with a view to prevent and tackle cultural appropriation, depriving countries and local communities of sustainable livelihoods. We must also strengthen our national policy frameworks to provide systemic support to our local communities who are entrusted with the responsibility of safeguarding their intangible heritage practices, including by strengthening institutional frameworks or investment in research and knowledge building. As we move forward, the G20 Culture Working Group is committed to taking into account all the key takeaways and recommendations from today's discussions that will provide insightful and insight, insights and guidance into the deliberations of the members of the Culture Working Group who will have the task of shaping the G20 Culture Roadmap in the coming months towards the adoption of a declaration by the G20 Ministers of Culture in August 23 and beyond under the future presidencies of the G20. As already indicated, the Indian Presidency will produce a summary report of the four thematic webinars on the four priorities and these will be widely disseminated to all the members as well as to guide further reflection globally. The discussions held today have established the framework for future cooperation and joint initiatives. We recognize that working together and fostering strong partnerships is crucial for our collective success. We will continue to maintain an open and inclusive dialogue as we move forward. I am confident that the dedication and commitment demonstrated by all participants today will have a lasting impact on our efforts to harness our living heritage for sustainable living worldwide. Once again, I want to thank all of you for your contribution and I look forward to our continued work together as we progress in this crucial endeavor. Thank you. Namaste.